Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mark Loeffler Experience. Today I'm gonna to show you how my vacation rental out in Alberta, Canmore, Alberta, is costing me nothing and is making me money. And I'm using it a fair amount. Like my whole goal was ski season. I'm gonna be out there four times during ski season, which to me is unbelievable. If you haven't skied out there, out in Alberta, out in Banff, it is unbelievable. For all the people watching in Ontario, and you've never skied out west, you don't know what you're missing. If you're going to Blue or anywhere else, it's just not the same. It's not the same. Literally, you guys are skiing on trash heaps and those are mountains. Uh, so we're here to talk today about how I'm doing with my vacation property, if it's costing me money or is it making me money. So I'm just gonna go through some of the facts. This is um, through Bro Bo Vacation Rentals. Uh, they are my uh, property manager out there. And I will just go to some of the reports here. Uh, you can see that in 2022, we have 54 nights booked already, um, which is okay, it's fine. Uh, we had 100 nights booked out of um, 2021. We had revenue of $44,868. Obviously, you can see, so July, we had 12 nights booked. And I really didn't take the property over until, you know, around the 10th. And I did use that for four days for myself. Um, so we did okay in July. Okay. I think this July is obviously going to be better. The summer season in, uh, in Canmore is actually the, the uh, high season. And hopefully, knock on wood, there won't be restrictions. We'll have international people coming and it'll all be done. Because we don't have really that many internationals coming in right now. August, which was obviously a full month, we had 20 nights booked. We started the advertising a little late on that, obviously. And, you know, it is what it is. I'm still quite happy with it, yet I think obviously the new, next year will be better. Um, September, so these are, obviously you can see, these are the shoulder seasons. But to be honest with you, as long as I'm breaking even in the shoulder seasons, I'm quite happy, right? Um, so I kind of don't maybe break even at some of these numbers, I'm really close. I'm going to run through through some of my expenses real quick. The good months take care of the bads. And, you know, here was December is the best month we've had. So we had 20 nights booked in December. And beginning of the month was slow. And I took four days again in the middle of the month. So it, it is what it is. And we got 54 nights booked uh, for 2022. January is uh, 21 nights booked. Again, four nights booked in the middle of the month. February, so we have 22 out of 28 days booked. Um, I think I have three days booked in there too. So it, it's just one of those things where I'm using it. We can't get as many bookings, It's which is fine for me. I don't really like it. I'm happy with what we're doing right now is what I'm saying. Uh, March, we have five nights booked. Um, I'm also taking the prime week. I'm taking March break. Uh, you know, we have some stuff coming up. April, two nights already. Uh, four nights in J June. So it's starting to get booked up, but people aren't planning that far ahead, I guess, right now. So uh, right now we have about $31,000 in revenue. My goal was to use this property to enjoy with my family and to be able to go out there and ski and to enjoy Alberta, enjoy Banff. And that's what we're doing. So this is my December report that I get. This is the room report. So here's 20 nights booked for our owner. So here we go, I pay Shaw, so obviously I pay the internet, I pay for heat and hydro. So I pay for hot tub service uh, weekly because I think it'd be kind of gross if I didn't. So I had a, a plumbing thing I had to pay for, it was two grand. I mean, these things happen. Uh, as you can see, so my total nightly rental revenue was $16,748.48. Uh, my cleaning revenue was almost $3,000. I collected GST, not HST, because they don't have provincial sales tax there, right? Um, so anyways, my total income was just a little bit less than $21,000. Uh, my cleaning fee expense was $2,971.43, just as much as revenue I collected. So I'm not making money off that. I'm paying 25% on... Um, 
the management fee so that comes right off the top there which you can see in the numbers that i get on that other screen it's already taking the management out of it also the booking fees and charges which are about twelve hundred dollars but they obviously give me a um a, a report that shows everything right uh so supplies 200 gst paid 404 uh condo fees two thousand twenty five dollars and six cents uh fortis hot tub maintenance owner clean so when i go obviously we still have to pay the cleaners to clean up after me because i'm a slob that's that's what it is so we get the total income minus total expenses and we get profit so that is what is sent to me every month and so that is covering everything so they're paying my condo fees heating hydro um taking care of any supplies in in the property uh really it's really hands off for me i if I want to do anything with it i just send an email and say hey i'd like to book for these nights please book these off for me and that's about all i do i don't really do anything else i'm really i'm really hands off so this is a 100 percent turnkey rental property for me that i am now being able to use as a vacation rental for free if you want to travel the world and you want to know where you're staying every time this could be a great idea. I know one of my friends, this is what they do, right? They have Airbnbs all over and they'll go stay here and they'll go stay there. I mean, maybe you don't want to stay in the same spot all the time, but you have vacation rentals all over that are paying you to go somewhere else. You know, this could actually buy me another vacation rental coming up. Once I accumulate enough money in that account, I'll maybe just go buy another one in Canmore and let the same company manage it. And hey, if I'm going out with my family, maybe I don't need the big one maybe i take a smaller two bedroom or something i don't know these these are all things that can happen you know with this self-generating fund because again i'm not paying for it every month somebody else's and hopefully they're getting value for their money well, i know they are that's a beautiful property you should all go and stay there i have not put a dime into this account ever um this has totally been paid by the condo uh, for by rentals, I have not put a dime in there. So you can see that since July, it has accumulated almost twelve, eleven thousand four hundred dollars. Uh, you can see that my rent every month is thirty six seventy three ninety. No, my rent, sorry, my mortgage, um, and I'm paying a seven dollar charge, which they're giving me a credit for because I get a discount for some reason. Let's do last six months. So. You can see that obviously November basically paid for itself. Um, October, not so much. September, again, paid for itself. Plus, yeah, the like it's 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 basically it's paying for itself, and I'm getting the use whenever I'm out there for again for my cleaning fee, which again is coming off of my revenue. I am getting a free vacation. I, I'm not paying when I go out there to to stay anywhere i don't doesn't cost me anything and by the way i'm just gonna let you know flights are super cheap right now i just booked on air canada 130 dollars each way that's free so now is a great time to travel if you ask me so get out there travel if you guys want details on the canmore property hit me up on instagram um you know we did a video on it before we'll link it it's a 2400 square foot three bedroom uh condo with a hot tub on the roof that is your private hot tub but if you guys want to know more about that check out the other video hit me up on insta thanks everyone catch you next time have a great day